Kindly watch the following video and then we're going to chat after you've watched it. Melanie and Pete Filyoun from South Africa have stolen my identity. I'm Tammy Taylor, the CEO and founder of Tammy Taylor Nails since 1983. They are illegally using my name to sell franchises. They are counterfeiting and selling my products. They have forged my signature on illegal documents, and many more infractions have been documented. They are also being deceptive by using my name, my logos, my trademarks, my copyrights on all their social media platforms. I have been threatened. I have been harassed. And now I'm being stalked by Melanie and Pete Filyoun. I will not be a victim of Melanie and Pete Filyoun's abuse anymore. I will speak out. Guys, that was Tammy Taylor of the Tammy Taylor News Global Empire. Hi everyone, my name is Boisel of Lagas and thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me. I am your reliable source of the latest pop culture news. And thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me. Well, for those that do not understand what is happening here, so uh, there was a deal between uh, Tammy Taylor and Piet Filiun and Melanie Filiun, whom we know from the Real Houses of Pretoria, but back in the day. So um, it's it was, a, I guess, a distribution deal and uh, she would distribute some products to them and they ended up starting a franchise um a huge you know semitella in south africa became huge there were franchises um under them and there were many legal issues surrounding you know Temitella nails people franchises saying okay they did not deliver on one two and three and we know there are many cases currently in court um and even there's currently even we even know I remember there was even a case surrounding Happy Her Majesty from the Mummy Club, even before she enjoyed, she joined the Mummy Club, also claiming that, yo, those people swindled me, you know. Now, currently, as you've heard, Tammy Taylor, and uh, speaking about, you know, or rather making these allegations about Piet and um, and Melanie, there was a, a they, or rather, Tammy Taylor Nails in, in the state sent a letter of cease and desist to the, lo to the local company to say, guys, stop using our name, our domain, and this is our intellectual property. And we also, we terminate the distribution deal and the license. But the local business people, which is Piet and Melanie, continued. And they have their own reasoning. Their reasoning is that um, Tammy Taylor Nails in the States ne does not have saloons. They only, you know, distribute products. We are the ones in South Africa who started the, this thing of franchises and whatnot. So apparently, now according to Pierre, responding to this video that you've just seen, God, Tammy Taylor, he is saying that Tammy Taylor became um, greedy. At some point, she even said she wanted uh, them to buy a Bentley. I don't know, guys, do, do you think Tammy Taylor is jealous or maybe Tammy Taylor is just defending her name and her brand, especially when the Tammy Taylor Nails uh, name has been, you know, surrounded by a lot of negativity. And yeah, I don't know. But what do you think? Uh, yeah, when it's like this, uh, you just don't even, know, don't even know what to believe. But do certainly share your thoughts in the comment section below. I wish I had a podcast. I would, I would, I would really um, bring all these parties together because it's possible and really hear what they have to say. But what's your experience and what do you think of this? Do certainly share your thoughts in the comment section below. I love you so much and may you continue to stay blessed. Salute.